Go. This is it! Crisis! Danger! The thrill of adventure! Adventurer's Guild! Finally, our days of rescuing kittens and finding lost puppies are over! The age of adventure is upon us! Roll up, youngsters! Join the Adventurer's Guild today! In this time of great upheaval, we must rally together, take on the dragon, and save our great city of Mondstadt! What? What? This storm terror threat is resolved? <laughs> I missed the acting clan master's speech? <sighs> ah, storm terror should have put up more of a fight. We didn't get to join in. Live the heroes. <sighs> Thank you. It's finally over. Many trade routes have closed due to the storm terror incident. We can cope for now without fresh fruit and vegetables. <sighs> but if the wine supply dries up, we're all doomed. <sighs> I cannot imagine a world without wine. I hope they get the trade routes back up and running soon. So Storm Terror's true identity is Devalin. One of the Four Winds. We never should have forgotten his past sacrifice for Mondstadt. Every cloud has a silver lining. We're fortunate that our relationship with the Dragon of the East didn't sour past the point of no return. For that, we have you to thank. And Jean for her unfailing devotion. As long as we have the Knights of Favonius, peace and freedom will prevail in Mondstadt. I take your order? Why so cold? I've always thought that we enjoy quite the intimate friendship. Ah, so you do feel something for me. And people say my charm is fake. To bask in the presence of Mondstadt's new big hero is quite the morale boost. And that's coming from a knight. Sweet talking, sugar coated Captain Kaya. <laughs> Nonsense. I speak from the heart. Just looking for a quiet spot to collect my thoughts. While all the other knights are working hard to clean up after the battle? 
Thinking can be an arduous task, you know. Believe me, I'd much rather be taking out the trash. So what you thinking about then? The Abyss Order. A dragon wreaks havoc in Mondstadt, and the acting Grand Master leaves the city to combat the threat. Strategically, that's the perfect moment for the Abyss Order to make their move. If you were the Abyss Order, would you squander this golden opportunity by sending in nothing more than a few hilly churls? To get to the bottom of it, I decided to wait. So I waited, and watched for their next move. Then came the day you made all hell break loose in Storm Terror's lair, just as the hilly churl's cries sounded from the city gates. That same day, I saw shadowy figures lurking in the city itself. Inside the city? Well, all the other knights were outside, fighting the enemy. As you can imagine, that left the inside of the city completely unguarded. Except for me, of course. And so I approached the Abyss Order infiltrators for a bit of... Mm, let's call it fraternizing. Through various means, I managed to gather some rather interesting intel. The situation is this. The Abyss Order. They are united under a single leader. The Abyss Order has a leader? Yes. And it was this very leader who devised the plot to turn Dvalin into a weapon of war. What exactly did you have to do to find this out? <laughs> Let's just say I'm blessed with certain linguistic powers. There's more. The Abyss Order has a name for this leader. They call her the Princess. Now, I'm sorry to cut this intelligence briefing short, but I do believe I spy Amber heading this way. I think she's still angry with me for my absence from the defense effort during the attack. I'd better slip away before she notices me. One minute I see Kaya, the next he's slipped away. Clear sign of a guilty conscience. I agree. He sets a terrible example for someone who's cavalry captain. Uh, but let's forget about him. I worked super hard today, and my tummy's rumbling. Let's order. Hi, Sarah. One sticky honey roast, please. Now the Storm Terror threat is behind us. What are your plans for the next step? Paimon thinks it's time to leave Mondstadt and keep looking through the Seven Nations until we find clues about his sister. Huh, really? Oh, well, I guess this is goodbye for now. Hey, don't feel down. You'll always be a friend of the Knights of Avonius and our honorary knight. Wherever you may go and wherever the wind may blow, that's the spirit. Remember, Mondstadt will always welcome you. All right, now let's eat before it gets cold. Mmm, that was good. Note to Paimon, Amber's recommendations are worth the wait. Of course. While I don't trust myself in the kitchen, you can always trust me with the menu. Oh, I almost forgot to mention. Jean's waiting for you at the cathedral. It's something to do with the Holy Lair de Himmel. You'd better head there now.
This is Barbara, the deaconess of the church. She is here to retrieve the holy liar de Hamel. May the animal Archon protect you. I'm not really in a position to speak compared to our acting Grand Master. But I still want to thank you all on behalf of all of Mondstadt for your assistance. Fortunately, everything was resolved peacefully. I can't imagine how an all-out war between the military and the dragon would have ended. Now the Fatui have no choice but to keep their mouths shut. They must be annoyed that things didn't turn out as planned for them. This time, they even lost their best excuse to pressure the Knights of Favonius. Diplomatically speaking, they gained nothing, and on the contrary, simply proved just how vexatious they can be. Sounds like quite the story. So, did you bring the Holy Liar with you? We cannot ask you to keep defending the Liar forever. The Seneschal has been pressing me for a while now. We, uh... Did bring it with us. Um, it's just. It's a little. Oh, don't worry. I'm not here to collect rent. The church has always received special funding. should get going. That trick I used to repair the Holy Liar. <laughs> I mean, the magic I used isn't going to hold forever, you know. What? <laughs> you bard! Hey, don't go! Mondstadt's rodent ruler in the flesh. Scurrying through the streets looking for leftovers? Mondstadt calls this a god? Resident rodent beats invasive vermin. Don't you dare speak back to me, insolent bard. Absentee Archon of Mondstadt. How impotent you've become. That smirk you wear looks out of place. Did you steal it from your master's face? <laughs> Should have held your tongue. <sighs> so, this is a gnosis. Wouldn't huh? be caught dead wearing this ugly thing in public. 
beauty is a waste when the beholder has no taste. <laughs> 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 well, we have what we came here for. Come, before our dear Favonian friends arrive. Leave nothing for them to find. But strangely, my healing powers had almost no effect on him. This is the first time I've encountered such a patient. But he just said, it's completely normal, and then got up and left the cathedral. He left? Already? Where'd he go? The symbol of Mondstadt's hero. That's what he said. I wanted to stop him, but Jean, uh, I, I mean, Master Jean, said to let him leave. How strange. Paimon remembers Venti healing under that tree before. It's probably due to the connection between Windrise and the Animal Archon. Master Jean has figured it out as well, but we can't tell Barbara. 